If we just came up the bionis shin, then this must be its kneecap, right? Yep. Which means Colony 6 is up ahead. Looks like we can climb up there. Great. I love a good climb. Hey everybody, it's me on Makoto. Last time on Xenoblade Chronicles, we made it up to the Bionis kneecap. And I put a weirdly placed intro, even though I should know how this game works. <laughs> uh, this time, we are on the Bionis kneecap. There is our enemy, Makonis. So let's start heading up by Honest and trying to reach the sword. Or not. Hey Ryan, there's something here. Seychelles, what do you think this is? Hmm, I have no idea. Alright, I'll just poke it and see what happens. Oh, oh, hold on now. We don't know what it'll do. It could be dangerous. Welcome to the Land of Challenge. This is Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition's newest addition to the game. This is a bunch of challenges similar to the ones that you find in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Greetings. Let's take a look. Not on Arc Sage. Arc Sage has been waiting. With limitless powers of Arc Sage, Arc Sage has presented Pre Sage friends coming. Also, Pre Sage questions for an ask. What is place? Who use? Not so. This place looked by honest, but not. Seemed familiar, but actually, is place that connect to past futures. And Nopon Arc Sage is great Nopon, who, through endless training in many times and places, becomes sagiest of sages. Since friends come here, that means friends want to become disciples. No backsies! So if friends complete challenges with such with much success, Arc Sage give reward. Good thing Arc Sage transcend greed for material possessions, otherwise would not part with such priceless treasures. We'll be your pupils. Everything happened as Nopon Arc Sage has foreseen. Incidentally, by the by, if friends make a new friend who also want to become follower, please do bring along. Arc Sage will happily prepare special new challenges and rewards. What friends do you like tackling today? You can now try your hand at Time Attack. You can find Time Attack accessible areas anywhere and multiple places throughout Bionis. There aren't very many. Uh, a new one will now have opened up in uh, Colony 6, right by the Gem Man stall. So we'll go, we can check that one out every once in a while. Uh, we can trade for items using something called Nopon Stone. This is only gainable by doing quests. Well, not by doing quests, by doing time attack battles. Time attack mode. There are two different types of battles. There are free battles and restricted battles. Free battles allow you to take any party members you want into them at any level and any equipment state. Restricted battles are give you set party members. You're only able to play as a certain party member, and you have to use whatever the game gives you. And typically, the arts are pretty not great. You're also set at a specific level. This one makes us play as Ryan, where we have only three skills learned on his skill tree. You also don't get any skill links, so it can be a little bit tough if you're not ready for it. But you do get some special armors if you get rank A or better, or rank S or better in this case. These are special uh, cosmetic armors that will be added to your inventory if you beat it. You, they're pretty neat. Stage not going We're going to be leaving this for a little bit. We're not going to be uh, doing many of these throughout the story. I'll probably end up doing most of them off screen, but I will eventually come back and I will show you how all this all works later. But for right now, let's head back 
and go to a pretty familiar place for some of you. Even if you've never played this game, you're sure to recognize something about this upcoming area. Ragnarar Canyon Path. That's a little marker, but before we go up ahead, I'm going to quick get all the side quests from this guy, and I'll be right back. I have returned from grabbing side quests, and I would yeah. like to show you how I managed to level up my arts in the last episode. And he doesn't sell any. All right, so in certain shops, you'll find... Uh, and you'll find... Uh, things called art books uh you'll find intermediate level art books which you can buy from npcs for certain amounts of money and they will on opening of the art menu will rank up your arts to higher well will rank up your arts pool so you can now act so you can finally uh level up your arts to higher levels than you were previously able to every art starts off locked at level four maximum so you have to find art books to do that. You might also notice there's a higher level of art books of level seven, eight, and not uh, level eight, nine, and ten. To get to those, we'll I'll go over those later. There are there are art books that drop from later game enemies that you can grab. I'll show you where most of the really good enemies to grind for these are because a single unique monster late game can drop many different types of art books. You won't need to buy, like, art books to, like, for, like, the intermediate ones. Like, you don't need to, but they're helpful. Especially on, like, Light Heal. Or Slit Edge, for example. Or, heck, even Stream Edge, which actually... Next time I get AP, I'm gonna put that in there. But, anyway... If you've never played Xenoblade Chronicles, but have played Super Smash Bros, I think you know what area is coming. Yes, you guys guessed it. Welcome to the Bionis Leg, or what most people like to call it, the Gar Plains. Shulk, look over there. Smoke? Maybe someone's got a fire going. Hope they're cooking up something good. It's hardly a good spot for a barbecue. Come on, let's take a look. Either type monsters are now findable on the Bionis leg. These enemies will aggro if you use an art with an icon that has a faint horizontal line on it. I kind of tried to neglect art palettes earlier, but yeah, there is some little easy, there's some easy to see some, this is some easy to see like indicators of what kind of arts you have. For example, Light Heal is a ether art as well as Shadow Eye. You can see that by looking at the art palette. I think for now, I'm actually gonna switch to playing Rhine. Uh, all arts have a little icon on them that helps you figure out which kind of art they are. Uh, let's put them over here. For example, Hammer Beat shows you that it gains aggro with the eye icon behind the, the uh, sword. Uh, Bone Upper has no such other icons, but it does fill up Talon Gauge. Wild Down shows you that it's a topple art just by its green. This shows you that it's an aura due to the fact that it's, it has an orange, it's an orange color, also with the line there. Uh, this color indicator on Engage shows you that the, uh, this is a lock on art. Oh my gosh. I can't let you guys not hear the awesomeness of this song. AoE. War Swing shows you that it's AoE due to the fact of the ring at the bottom of the art. There's a, there's a lot of things that show, that show just based off the art palette. It's really useful. You heck, even look. Ryan's Mad Taunt is a ta is a ether art. Whoa! This is our first instance of seeing one of these item visions. 
Sometimes when you're collecting item orbs, the game will stop you in its tracks to show you a vision. This will show you a, a little, like, small cutscene where you can see a character talking about a certain item. These are pretty rare. I think they're pretty set, preset, though. Items necessary for the future will be marked in the inventory with a blue ex with a non-blue solid exclamation point. This is the third moth crawler. Me and Ryan always used to play with these when we were little. That's really neat. As we're exploring around, I'll probably come back to explore a little bit more of the Bionis leg as we go. But for right now, let's go take care and see what this is. Someone's left a buggy out here. That's strange. Who would just abandon a buggy in this place? And it's pretty new. Is it brand new? Not brand new, but it's in very good condition. You wouldn't just abandon it. So, what did happen to the driver? There's a boy! He's being attacked by monsters. You saw it happening? Where? I don't know. But it was near some water. Near water? But what made you have a vision all of a sudden? Maybe it was triggered by touching the buggy. Well, we'd better find him. Let's search everywhere around here where there's water. Okay. Indeed we shall. Let's go find this boy. Look at our marker, it shows that we're gonna probably head up north here, but I wanna go over here towards that big dude. Let's see some ponios. There's a staple monster that appears in every Xenoblade game. Uh, in some form, there's always some super duper high level monster in the first area. Meet him, Territorial Rothbart. Level 81 unique monster has sure terrorized many people over the over the years of this game's life. <laughs> but thanks to the draw distance of the new Xenoblade game, we can see him just fine from anywhere. Trust me, you don't know how many times I've ran up by on a slag only to get jumped by this dude all the way over there. Speaking of territorial Rothbart, he's an enemy type we will not be messing with for very many, for a very long time. They are quite strong. Shulk, over there! Ah, ah. You alright, kid? Who are you? That can wait. Go! Get out of here, leave these guys to us. Uh, okay. Let's do this. Ready when you are. All right. Our first boss fight on the Bionis leg, Berserker Ardun. Start off with an engage. And then we're going to Aura Burst. Make sure those enemies don't have a... Should we can't. Ooh, that does a lot of damage. I don't want to get hit by another one. Let's get some more, some more strength down on these guys. Whoa. Wow, Shulk is down. Now this could get ugly. I think we might have lost this fight. <laughs> it's really hard to keep your HP up early game. 
Oh man, I hope that boy made it. <laughs> well, we got owned. We might need to level up a bit. Look at how much experience we got from these last few areas. Like, I took my uh, expert mode back when I first reset it back up to level 10. Uh, like, and a little bit into Tefra Cave. And we were still at level 13. All the way through Tefra Cave, getting all those, like, areas, we gained enough experience to hit level 16. Like, if you thought area EXP wasn't gonna be really good, like, yeah, you were thought wrong. We also learned a new art because of our because of leveling, maxing our levels. I actually turn off extra for a little bit. I'm gonna show off that new art. That tutorial signifies that Ryan has learned a ninth art. It was probably gonna happen eventually, but here it is. I mentioned it earlier, Sword Drive. The strongest, one of the strongest arts in the game. Look at that damage. Sword Drive... You can easily reset to any art you want, pretty much. Just put it in, boom. Press A on the setting menu, put it out. I'm going to keep Bone Upper in because there's a certain combo I want to use later on. Whenever we get it. And that Strength Down is pretty useful. I think that signifies that we're not strong enough to take on those dudes. We should probably grind, not grind, but find some enemies. So let's do some side quest enemies. Ooh! Shulk just used a different art. Air Slash! Shulk's second break art. We definitely are fine enough to take care of those guys. I just lost because I'm dumb. And I was two levels lower than them. Which honestly didn't think it was going to matter all that much. But yeah, apparently does. First instance of a, of a Tyrkin. Nothing too special. Let guard on. Let's take care of these guys on the way out. Time for pay. I'm ready. The main reason I'm fighting these guys is my party gauge meter. I want to get a lot of party gauge. Easy enemy. Got a, got a little bit of experience in that. Awesome. Let's zoom the camera out a bit. Yeah, honestly, didn't expect to get destroyed that fast there. That was my own fault. So you can see there's that green ring there. Still. At least it shows you the ring of, uh, at least it shows you the battle ring, unlike Xeno 2 did. <laughs> that was fun to learn. <clears throat> anyway, let's get rid of these guys. Nope. You actually get the burst of affinity on them. Pretty useful. Let's take care of them. Oh, we've been inflicted with bleed. That's not good. Uh oh. Poor Shulk. Next time he inflicts. Uh oh, we got a vision. Lion attack. Can't let that hit Shulk. He's pretty low in HP right now. We might not have enough time, so let's do this. Visions. Vision timers do not go down during a chain attack. 
since enemies cannot attack. This is really useful to keep in mind. And of course, vision reacts always plays when you break a vision tag. Ugh, whatever. Hopefully I was going to get the link there so I could use a bone upper on the next turn. Oh well. Got rid of him. Okay, it should work now. Great! You saved my skin. My buggy short-circuited. And then there were those monsters and... Well, thanks. I fixed the circuit, but it's out of ether. Change the cylinder and it'll be as good as new. I think it's time for the introductions. I'm Ryan. He's Shulk. Pleased to meet you. Oh, hi. I'm Juju. Um... Where are you two heading? If you've got time, you should come back to our camp. Your camp? Yeah. It's not far. How about it? Let's take him up on the offer. I'm surprised there's a Homs camp here. But they might have some information. I suppose. Juju, can you tell us how to get there? Sure. If you go back to the oasis, you should see a tall stone post. Head there first. Then what? There's a small path in the woods next to the stone post. Just follow it down to our camp. Got it. Now, let's make a move. After showing Juju how incapable we are, we have saved him. Let's go take our, let's go take ourselves over to that little camp he mentioned. I saw a waterfall over there too. This area is always the Bionis legs always really cool. Even if you've never played Xenoblade in like, Xenoblade Chronicles at all, most people recognize like most people I know recognize this area. Thank you, Super Smash Bros. for putting Shulk on the the radar of gamers. Uh, as we're running about on the plains of Bionis, uh, I don't know. A couple land, there's a couple like obvious like looking like structures around. Like, there's that waterfall again. It's a little cave over there. See, right over there is a cave. Oh, I don't Kamos Guidepost. I wanted to quick grab that before we headed into the... Headed in over here to this little camp, supposedly, that's over here. Got some leg antholes. Shouldn't be too much of trouble if we ever actually have to fight them. The old dude over here. Some refugee! What kind of camp is this? Huge shadow on the plane during the thunderstorm one day, and it walked towards Red Bull Lake. It's a monster we don't stand a chance. Could you kill it for us? White Eduardo at Ragwell Lake on Bionis Leg only during a thunderstorm. Weather types we haven't really seen much action of lately. Sky Stage was a monster rampaging around. Might have to take care of that too. Violent Andante. Nah, eh, they're just your classic unique monster quests. That gold dust illusion. Juju! Where have you been? <sighs> Juju! <sighs> Don't tell me you were... 
I've told you a thousand times. We're not ready to leave the camp yet. But I thought... Juju! Sorry, Sharla. That gear. You must be survivors from the Defense Force. Is Colony 6 okay? Did Gaddo make it? Hold on. What are you talking about? We've... we've come from Colony 9. Colony 9? They saved me from some monsters. This is Ryan and Shulk. Oh, so you're not from Colony 6. Thank you for helping, Juju. I'm his sister, Sharla. I told them they could rest here, with us. Did you now? Well, all right. I suppose that's only fair. Did something happen to Colony 6? Actually, we're heading there ourselves. Colony 6 has been... our home. It's been occupied by the Mekon. No. I'll tell you about it inside. Follow me. Yes? Our home. Colony 6 was attacked by the Mekon. Will you listen to what I have to say? We had already fought off the Mekon a year ago. At the Battle of Sword Valley? It left us with a false sense of security. The Colony 6 Defense Force didn't even notice the approaching Mekon. By the time the air raid siren sounded, a swarm of Mekon had blackened the sky. They ate people and burned our buildings. Me and Juju dedicated ourselves to evacuating the children and elderly. I don't know what happened next. It's just like what happened to Colony 9. They attacked your colony as well. Yes. It's good that you managed to evacuate so many. We have a Tharon, the Colonel, to thank for that. Him and Gaddo. This Gaddo? He would have been my husband by now, if not for all this. <laughs> Cheer up, you two. Uh... We can't lose hope just yet. I'm certain Gaddo and the other soldiers are alive. They're still fighting. I can feel it. Um... Hmm? You're on your way to Colony 6, right? You bet. We're up for some revenge. I bet we can even get your colony back. There you go, showing off again. If anyone can do it, it's you two. Could... Um... Uh, could you take me with you to the colony? Juju! The people here need us! How many times do I have to tell you? But you heard the mech on attack Colony 9. That means a load of them have left Colony 6 already. It has to! <sighs> Even if that's true. No, especially if it's true. We cannot expose the camp to any more danger. So, you don't care what happens to the people in the colony? How can you be so heartless? Are you that scared of the Mekon? Oi, kid! Ryan! You ought to know how Sharla feels. Watch your mouth and have some respect. I'll go and make dinner. Maybe I was too hard on him. Shulk? Ryan, you really remind me of Gaddo when you get angry. I, I do? 
Gaddo's taken care of us ever since we were young. I always saw him as a big brother, really, but he was more of a father to Juju. He'd call him kid whenever he told him off, just like you did. I don't think I'm ready to be someone's old man just yet. Wait, Shulk. Did it happen again? Yeah. You had another vision. Oh, no. No! Juju! <sighs> the buggy's gone! He's going to Colony 6 on his own. Stupid kid. We have to hurry. Something bad's gonna happen. What did you see? A deep valley. Everything's engulfed in flames. There's a black shadow. It kills Juju. Is it the Mechon with the metal face? Yeah. Where does it happen? Is it near Colony 6? I'm not sure. I think so. Let's get after him, Shulk! Hold on a second! What was all that about? I know you won't believe this, but Shulk can see the future. The future? That's not possible. That's what I thought too. I still can't explain this, but that vision I had will come true unless we stop it. So you're telling me Juju's in danger? Believe it or don't believe it, that's your call. But I wouldn't be standing here if it weren't for Shulk's visions. Juju. Oh, okay. I can't say I believe you. But what have I got to lose? I like the way you think. Charla, you're... What? No, nothing. Oh. What are you doing? Let's go and find Juju. When you talk like that, you sound just like Gaddo. That's how I know it's not worth arguing. What am I? Some kind of Gaddo substitute? I think it was Charlotte too. I saw it in the vision. But I can't stop her coming with us. I don't know how I can protect her. But I have to do it. I will change the future. Beware of buffs and debuffs during battle. We have unlocked a new party member in the form of Sharla. And I think that's probably a good place to leave it off. Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, we go after Juju and show off a little bit of how Sharla works. See you guys then.